Hi, it's Chester at Blue PKN Computer Training. And in this video, we're going to add up text as if they were numbers. So I've got five products who have all received five reviews. And up here, I have a table that assigns a point to each of the ratings. So excellent gets a five, good gets a four, average gets a three, etc. So what I want to do is add up the total points scored for each of these products. I'm going to show you how to do this in Excel 365, but also in older versions of Excel. The method is slightly different. But the two functions we want to use are match and index. So I'm just going to start off with match. Now match returns the position of a value, your lookup value, within an array of values. So let's do this very simply by saying, what's the position of excellent within this array, comma, and then I want to do an exact match. So the last argument, I use the zero, press enter. Now you can see that excellent is in position one. If I change this to good, that's in position two. I'll just undo that. Now I want to find the position of all of these reviews for product one. So rather than looking up one value, I'm gonna look up all of these values. And you can see now that it spills the position of each of these values within this column out into surrounding cells. So excellent is in position one, awful is in position five, and good is in position two. Now the next function I need to use in this formula is called index. And so with index, I select all the possible points that I want to return, comma, that's in the array argument, and then in the row number argument, I can use the match function to return all of the rows within that points column that I want to return a value from. So then I close the bracket at the end of the match function, press enter, and you can see now that it's returned the points for each of these reviews. So excellent gets a five, awful gets a one, good gets a four. And now all I need to do is add up these points and you can see I get a total number of points for this product. Now, in order to copy this down, I do need to fix some references here. Basically, any reference that I make to this table up here needs to be fixed. So I2 to I6, I need to fix them. Once I've selected that range, I'm pressing F4 on my keyboard, and then I can do the same for H2 to H6, press Enter, and then I can copy this down. Now, this formula is possible in Excel 365 because Excel 365 supports spilled array formulas. If I tried the same thing in a previous version of Excel, I wouldn't get the correct result. Now, I'm going to copy this formula and put it in here. In versions of Excel prior to Excel 365, what you'd have to do is press Control Shift Enter to get this formula to work. And you can see that when you do that, it only returns the points for the first review, excellent. It's incapable of returning an array of values or an array of points. However, there is a solution where you can get around this, and this is very obscure. What you can do is use the n function. Now, the n function converts a non-number value to a number, dates to serial numbers, true to one, and anything else to zero. But in this context, what we're going to do is we're going to say n, open bracket, then if, open bracket, one as your logical test or true, comma, and value of true is your match function. Now I need to close some brackets at the end here. But now if I press Control Shift Enter, it does do the job. Copy that down and I'm done. Now both of these formulas will also work with things like average. So if I put average in here, I get an average point scored. And I could also do the same here. Okay, that's all I wanted to cover in this particular video. Hopefully that's useful. If it is, please subscribe and I'll see you next video.